Hey, what's going on guys? How y'all doing? So today I want to talk about Elemental Mastery. Elemental Mastery is one of those stats that's a little bit overwhelming at first. It's a little bit confusing. The game isn't completely clear with how it works. And honestly, it doesn't tell you everything you need to know. So we're going to jump right in and we're going to be talking about Elemental Mastery and how you can use it to your advantage and also how it works. So if we read what the game tells you, the higher a character's elemental mastery, the stronger the elemental energy that can be released. Increases damage caused by vaporize and melt. Also increases damage caused by overloaded superconduct, electrocharge, shadowed, and sw shattered, <laughs> and swirl. And increases the damage absorption of shields created through crystallize. So basically, uh, this is increasing the damage caused by elemental reactions. Now that's all well and good, but there's actually a couple things that the game doesn't tell you. Now, if you don't know, there are two different types of reactions. There's transformative and there's amplifying. Transformative is the first one we're gonna talk about real quick. And those are any reactions that involve electro or animo. Now, if you don't know how all these uh, elements work, I will link you uh, right up there to my elemental breakdown video where I talk about how all these elements work together. Uh, so if you are doing any reactions with these two, electro or animo, these do not scale with attack, crit damage, elemental damage uh yeah just those three it's only your character's level and elemental mastery now when it comes to amplifying reactions these are melt and vaporize these do scale with attack crit and they multiply your damage but they also scale off of elemental mastery so that's why if you look at that chart in the elemental breakdown video the outer circle if you're familiar with those with the chart that's the rock paper scissors of uh, pyro, cryo, and hydro, uh, that's why they do so much more damage than your electro uh, reactions. However, they're more complicated to use. And the reason why is if you're going around the outer circle, there is a certain way you need to go. So if you're going clockwise, your damage is going to be 2x or 100% extra damage. If you go counterclockwise, you'll only be doing 50% extra damage. So both of these really like elemental mastery, one more than the other. So if you're using any electro or animal reactions, uh, you're really gonna wanna prioritize elemental mastery because that's where you're gonna be getting your bonuses. Whereas with the whereas with the melt and vaporize, uh, you'll be getting bonuses from elsewhere. So you don't necessarily have to focus on elemental mastery. Now, the question is, should you be focusing on elemental mastery early on in the game? I say no. Uh, most of your damage bonuses are going to be coming from attack. And look, the thing is with Genshin Impact is when you're in the early game, this is before you're getting consistent five star gear, you're going to be switching out your gear quite often. Because of that, you don't really want to be investing in these four star, three and four star artifacts that have elemental mastery. Now, when we get to the point where you are getting five star artifacts, there's, there's probably some character builds where you're going to want elemental mastery. Now, do we know exactly what those are yet? Not exactly. Maybe the beta testers do who have spent like hours and hours and hours playing this game. But for most of us, we don't really know what those builds look like yet. So we will get there. If your gear has some uh, substats that are elemental mastery, sweet. It is some extra damage you're going to be getting. However, you do not need to focus on elemental mastery just yet. Keep focusing on that attack power. Get that attack up. And later on in the game, we will focus on builds with elemental mastery and pyro damage bonus, cryo damage bonus, all that kind of stuff. So guys, that was the quick breakdown of Elemental Mastery. I know that was really quick, but you know, like I said, it's not really that complicated once you know how it works, but before you know how it works, uh, it is a little bit confusing. So hope you guys liked the video. If you did and you wanna see some more content from me, head over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash xjazz207. We are playing this game three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, around 8 p.m. EST. And if you want to see some more content from me over on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you always know when I put out a new video. But guys, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.